Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Carry Ride Share app. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest self just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be new to ride sharing or basically using any app to basically share uh, your rides. Well, in this case, uh, Carry here is your best friend. So especially for locations, which in this case is going to be Atlantic Canada. Now, in this case, you might be wondering, what is Carry here? So currently, we are in their official website, which is going to be um, car meetcarry.com. Now, this website actually represents or discusses what is Carry. So Carry, uh, Carry here is actually available in Atlantic Canada, which in this case, you could utilize this app for ride sharing. So in this case, it is built to serve the East Coast here for affordable rides. So meaning this is a ride sharing uh, app, which in this case, you'll be sharing rides with different people, but also for affordable prices. So if you can't afford like for example, uh, if it's actually quite similar to Uber, but think of it as an uh, alternative or an uh, easy or affordable version of it. Now, in this case, uh, what are the other things that we need to do here or remember for it carry? Now, again, since Carry is an app, you could actually install it either on Google Play or in the App Store. So it's both available on iOS as well as on Android. Now, there are two sides on Carry here. So you could actually use Carry as a passenger, but as well as a driver. So if you, for example, if you want to connect with different uh, people here and just basically start earning, well, in this case, you could drive with Carry here and you could just basically start driving uh, people around or basically sh or share your ride. So if you're going to somewhere, you could go ahead and share your ride here and you'll be earning on the side, which is something really cool if you're going to ask me. Now, if you want to sign up as a driver, you need to sign up via their website here. In this case, go ahead and uh, go to drive with, drive with Kari here, open it up, and it should open up the sign up page here, which in this case, you just need to fill out all the information. Like for example, initial information here that includes your region, the city, your first name, your last name, and all the inside details here. But I, this also includes your driver information. So they might ask for a driver's license, vehicle information, like uh, your insurance for your vehicle, uh, insurance information, and the lastly, the finished application section. Now, just provide all the details here and submit your application and they will reach out to you regarding your application here if they will be accepting you as a driver and a carry. Now, in this case, uh, what are the other things that we need to consider here? So in this case, uh, again, this is a ride sharing app. So if you want to use it, you can actually use it as a rider. Now, again, since uh, Carry here is a ride sharing app, there are, in certain cases, there are going to be some limitations on when it's actually available. So in this case, currently it's available on uh, Prince Edward Island for the following locations, but uh, New Bruns uh, Brunswick, it's currently not yet available in these two locations here, but it is available in St. Stephen. Now, if you want to use it on the following locations, again, it's not yet available. And also, it's going to give you a quick overview here on how to use Carry. So they really want to actually give you details on how to use it. So using it is pretty simple. You just need to uh, indicate where you're currently at, where you are actually going. And it's going to actually ma match you with different people and show you where to go there and how much uh, you'll be paying. Or if you're a driver, you it's going to show you how much you'll be earning. Now, in this case, it's going to show you driver is arriving here. So if you're a rider, uh, you could go ahead and just uh, wait for them. So there's actually a cute icon that you can see on your screen that is moving around that looks like a car, which indicates where your driver is going currently at. So it gives you real time information on where the driver is at currently. Now, in this case, uh, you could also, again, you could download this via Google Play Store, which we'll be sh uh, showing you later on. Now, you might be wondering the hours of operation here of Carry. Well, in this case, currently with the following locations that we saw before, the crazy thing about Carry here is they are actually available on the following hours here. So typically hours you can book Carry ride on demand is in Cornwall area. So you same with Char Charlottetown here. So we have Stratford here as well, so the people can book ride on demand in Stratford area. 
So currently, uh, they actually offer 24-7 service. So you could use them anytime if you want to. But again, sometimes you might not get a match immediately. So it might take, especially for down uh, uh, downtime. So if people are not using or not, um, or drivers are not available in that time, especially on midnight or in other times, you might not get a service. But then again, some drivers are. So again, the service is actually available here. Now, how do we sign up? So let's go ahead and switch over to our mobile device. So I'm currently in my mobile phone here. So in this case, go ahead and open up Google Play Store. From here, go to Google uh, search at the very top here. Just type in carry. Just basically search for it. And you should be able to see carry here, a red right. Let's go ahead and open it up. And from here, just click on the install button that you see there. Now, once actually fully installed, just click on open here. And from here, you just need to get started. So let's go and click on get started here. And we now need to provide our mobile number. So first things first, go ahead and provide your country. So I'll just look for my mobile number here and provide it. Now in this case, you'll be getting a code or verification code on your mobile number once you've entered it and hit on next. Just enter it and you should be able to see the screen here now. In this case, you need to provide your name. So for example, let me provide my name here. Click on continue. And from here, we now need to provide our email. So let's go and provide our email. Now in this case, you need to enter the code that, you, that will be sent on your email. So let's go and enter it and click on continue. Now in this case, it's going to ask you to add a photo. So let's go and add a photo here by clicking on the plus button. Now in this case, you could also add your credit card information here. So that includes your card number, month, and year of expiration and CVC. But for now, let's go and hit on the skip button at the top right. And from here, click on let's go. And you should now have an account with Carry. Now on the app itself, you have the option to turn on uh, location services here. But in some cases, if location services is not available on your phone, you can actually click on the enter pick up location here at the very bottom. So for example, let's go and enter an address here and also a destination for our ride. So let's go and enter that destination. Now, once you've entered those uh, information, it's now going to show you the following screen here, which in this case, you could basically choose the uh, the service. So for example, you have Caddy Car here. So in this case, it includes four passenger rides. You also have the option to get Carry SUV, which in this case, you'll be able to ride in the SUV here. So they have more uh, space, but they also have Carry Van here, which in this case can carry up to six people. Now, in this case, uh, as you can see, we now have our location and drop up. So pick up and drop up. So make sure that you're in your pickup location. Now, the great thing about carry here is you could also uh, choose when you want to leave. Like, for example, what if it's going to be now, but you can schedule this for a later date if you want to, like for a specific time, if you're leaving around 4 p.m. or any or any time that you want to leave, like for tomorrow, you could schedule it if you want to. And also you have the notes here for your driver. Like for example, if you need to notify them that, hey, I'm carrying a bunch of bags here and I need assistance on getting this on the car. So you could go and add that. Now, if you have promo codes, you could choose promo code here and just basically enter your promo code and you'll get more uh, discounts on your rides. So immediately the price itself is actually pretty cheap here, which is 13.22 Canadian dollar. And we also have uh, add payment here if you want to add your payment. So you go and add your credit cards if you want to. And once you provide all the details here, just click on select and you should be able to uh, start waiting for a match for your ride, which in this case, you should be able to see real time on your screen when your driver is going to be arriving on that specific uh, pickup location that you've entered. But yeah, using the app itself is actually pretty easy. So if you've used Uber before, it's going to be pretty easy. But if you're a fairly new or a beginner in using the app itself, uh, the app is pretty straightforward. You won't get confused here as long as you follow the video or the tutorial that we are currently showing you yeah, right now. So in this case, uh, those are the basics here that you need to know or to basically to get started using carry ride share here. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.